Okay, we're uh, done rendering and I've already got my folder set up here. So I'm just going to name it uh, test underscore one. And um, bitmap, tiff, and ping are all great options because they're pretty much lossless formats. I would stay away from JPEG uh, just because we're going to be JPEGing this out at the end so you don't want double compression going on so I'd stick with the losses format for now I use TIFF for pretty much everything so let's go with that and then we're gonna save it and open up Photoshop okay so this is our uh, render came out pretty good I think um, first things first double click on the background make it an editable layer and then right click and duplicate layer um, I'd like to do that because I end up I'm gonna do uh, some stuff to this and if I screw it up I don't want to have to go back and re-render so I'll just have another layer here that I can take uh, that I can carry on from so I'm going to make a sort of a fake depth of field by just selecting part of the image then I'm going to apply a blur to the rest of the image uh, I have 50 pixels of feather on it and what you do is go to select inverse to select the rest of the image and then filter blur. I like to use Gaussian blur because you can control it. And that looks that looks pretty good. Probably go with a. Yeah, I'm gonna back up here. And I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use about 75. Probably something like that. seems a bit better so I'm gonna do that and so now you've got this sort of depth of field going but uh, I want to keep her at least her face in focus here um, so um, now the text going to use, I don't know, let's go with, let's go with impact, see how that looks. You want to center it so as best you can. So, you know, choose one of these layers, bring out a guide, it'll snap in the center. Then you can grab this one and move it till it snaps. That's about right. And then now it's covering her head um, do I want that uh, probably not so 
Um, what I'm going to do is um, let me create this bottom text first. And then. Now I'm going to take this command T and then, or control T. Uh, that's to um, transform or edit transform scale. And then I'm going to bring it down holding the shift and option or, and or alt if you're on a Mac bring it down something like that maybe uh, and then okay background is see-through now so I'm gonna create a new layer throw that on the bottom and then fill it with the black Fill. And there you have it. Um, and that's looking pretty good. So the way you would um, export this, uh, remember I said I like to cut it down half the size. So uh, we would do save for web and then JPEG high quality is good um, here's a preview you could preview it make sure there's no artifacting going wrong especially during in the gradient areas you don't want to see any artifacting or banding now there's gonna be a little bit like here there's a little bit here um, so let's make it 50% like I said we were gonna do that, that takes us down to 1000 by 1600 and it's not as noticeable So hit save. I'm going to call this one cover. And remember, you'd save it as a JPEG um, just to keep the size, size of your book to a minimum. Uh, TIFFs at that size would be at least one or two megabytes, um, which you kind of want to avoid. So, you know, in like 15 minutes, we created a very simple 3D character with basic clothing um, and again you know visit the, the website um, they they have all kind of different um, things to choose from uh, you know they got sci-fi fantasy they've got uh, hair people, characters, clothing, accessories, they even have environments, so anything that you can dream up you can find there and they're relatively inexpensive. Um, you know, you can get away with maybe 50 bucks for a cover. Uh, a really nice looking one. Spend a little bit more time and you'll get something that's truly tailored to whatever you're writing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you found this thing useful, uh, if I enlightened you at all, hey, you don't need to donate to me, just buy my book. Uh, I write under the name of G.R. Legrand. Um, you'll see a couple links uh, I'll post somewhere. Uh, we have a blog, uh, my friend, no one you know. And I have, uh, so go ahead and hit those up. If you like the content, uh, go ahead and buy a book, buy our books. If not, don't bother. That's it. Um, Madman signing off. Thanks for your time.